Reveal my soulmate's name or reveal a family secret? Well, knowing my family, this tea is probably stone cold. They're just too honest with me. But on the other hand, this could be pretty useful, so I think I'm gonna go with this option. Surprise attack! <laughs> Liam! Chill, chill. Wait, were you picking your two options? Mm-hmm. And I was this close to finding out my soulmate's name. But now I'm gonna find out some stale family tea. Whoops, my bad. But it could be something juicy. <gasps> what? What do you see? It says that I'm the missing princess. This literally makes no sense. Yeah, you a princess? Your parents are basically peasants. <laughs> okay, watch it. Sorry, I just don't understand how you can be royalty, you know? I better just go talk to them about this. Wait, we're still on for game night at your place tonight, right? Yeah, sure, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> you, a princess. <laughs> yeah, I guess that was <laughs> ridiculous. What a silly glitch the system is having. <laughs> Why does this low-key smell like bleach? Madeline, I worked hard on this food. I'm not trying to be rude. Smell this and tell me it doesn't smell like a Tide Pod. Don't put that in my face. Madeline, eat. I won't ask again. You never yelled at me before like that. I'm sorry, Madeline. I didn't mean to. I'm not hungry anymore. No, sweetheart. Honey, please open up. Hey, can we please talk? I brought your favorite tea. Oh, your father and I have just had a long day today. It's nothing personal, darling. Please, forgive us for yelling. I didn't mean to make fun of your cooking tonight. I- Shh, shh, shh. I know you didn't, dear. Just keep having your tea and relax. You know I love you. <laughs> Are you all done, sweetie? Want me to take that? Mm-hmm. Oh, good girl. Look at you. You drank the whole thing. Something wrong, Madeline? I don't know, I, I just don't feel good all of a sudden. Everything feels like it's spinning. Mom, I think I need to go to the doctors. <sighs> Madeline, let's get one thing straight now. I'm not your mom. No, no, stop. You're scaring me. The less she knows, the better. What? <sighs> You're right. Well, the queen wants her taken care of, but we can't do it yet. Get the duct tape. No. She won't be going anywhere now. Good because we must make sure she doesn't get her hands on the magical journal. What are you talking about? Please. Mom. Dad. You can't- Shh. She won't be asleep for long. Let's get the journal out of storage, and then we'll dispose of both her and it. Madeline, hey, I hope you don't mind, but I climbed up your balcony. You ready for game night? Liam? Oh, that was a lot of work. Anyways, I brought my switch if you wanna- Crap, what's going on? Are you okay? It's a long story. Please, come set me free. There you go. Why would they do this to you? All I know is that my parents aren't actually my real parents. Maybe it has to do with you being the missing princess. And there's this magical journal that they've been talking about. And I think it might have the answers that I need. But we have to find it before they come back because... <gasps> Liam, what do you two think you're doing? Uh, I was just, um... <sighs> Why, you little brat! Give me that! Run! <sighs> Looks like we escaped them for now. Okay, now where's your phone? We need to call 911. <sighs> I was gonna charge my phone at your place. It's... it's dead. Great! Well, maybe we can use this to help us. You have summoned me. What can I help you with? I can reveal any information. What should I ask? Ask about you being royalty. I want to know more information about me being the missing princess. I have the answers you seek. Tap the book twice for a peek. Tap it with me. I feel like this is kind of personal. Are you sure? You saved my life. You deserve to know the answers too. Come on, ready? Yeah, okay. One, One two. two. Once upon a time, not that long ago, there lived a king and queen that wished for a baby girl. Their wish came true when suddenly the queen became ill. Their kingdom went into a panic as the king was not in good health himself. And when his wife tragically passed, the king knew what he had to do. He had to find a new wife. And he did so very quickly. His new wife seemed loving. The perfect new mom for his daughter. But it was all a facade. Once she became the new queen, she no longer wanted the baby girl. So she paid off guards to take the baby away in the middle of the night. And by the time the king found out what the queen had done, it was too late. <laughs> the queen used a spell to cast a curse on the king, making him forget his daughter and keeping him under her control. 
His young girl was raised by the two evil guards who disguised themselves as typical parents. They would continue to get paid by the queen. As long as the child never found out who she truly was. I have to save my real father. Only the touch of his daughter's hand can awaken the king from his spell. I can transport you to the castle as I have been awaiting for this day to come. I'll come with you for protection. Place your hands on the book. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, what are you wearing? Me? What are you wearing? I changed your outfits. You'll need to look the part to get invited inside. Why are you helping us so much? It's a long story, but let's just say I also want revenge on the Queen. I have a question. I get that my dad didn't remember me because of the spell, but why didn't anyone else from the Royal Kingdom try to look for me after I went missing? Through magic, she made the Kingdom forget about you. This Queen, my stepmother, She's been casting these spells on people, so does that mean that she's a witch? Oh yes. But her magic won't stop us. We got this, Madeline. Let's go get your father back. Follow my lead. Hello, sir. We're here to see the king. I'm Prince Liam, and this is Princess Madeline. We had an appointment with him. The king doesn't take- Oh, yes. You two. Go ahead. Come right in. Great. Thanks. Let's go. Your Majesty, Prince Liam, and Princess Madeline are here to see you. Forgive me, but do I know you? Well, I- There, there she, she is. is! Your fake parents found us! Please remember me! No! <sighs> I... I remember. I remember everything. My wife, she put me under a spell. My daughter, she's gone! She was gone, Your Majesty, but she found you. She's right there. What? Oh, my sweet child. It must have been years I was under that spell. No! It can't be. Why, I knew I should have killed you when I had the chance. Use the book. Well, better late than never. Madeline! Madeline. <gasps> no! The princess has broken the curse. I'm free. And now you shall pay for trapping me in that book in the first place. Now, now, can't we all just forgive and forget? I don't think so, dearie. Fake parents and queen, get inside this book for being mean. Whoa. Wait! I'll give this to you, dearie, for safekeeping. Well, we sure have a lot of catching up to do, don't we? I'm sorry this happened, but I'm glad we were able to find each other. Me too. <clears throat> ah, it's nice to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm Liam. I'm Madeline's best friend. Oh, you seem like quite the nice young man. Hey, your father said I can come to the castle anytime I like. Game night here is definitely gonna hit different. <laughs> <laughs> no more family secrets for you. You still working for that billionaire? Yes, mom. I'm still his house cleaner. And you know what? I've been working for him for two years and he still hasn't tipped me a cent. Honey, you have a family to support. You need to demand a raise. You're right. Mr. Blake. Oh, hi, Jenny. The bathroom needs cleaning ASAP. Actually, sir, I... Please, just call me Jason. Jason, I wanted to speak to you about a raise. A raise? Jenny. I don't give raises. With all due respect, I have been working here for two years, and I do very good work. Yes, you do. Okay, well, I'm just asking for a little bit extra pay because financially I... I'm sorry, I don't remember asking for your sob story. Either clean the bathroom or get out! No, not until you give me that raise. I'll do you one better. You're fired. Jenny, the news! Mr. Blake slipped on the bathroom floor! He has amnesia! Do you know what this means? <sighs> Not really. You can manipulate him! You want me to pretend to be a billionaire's girlfriend? There's already rumors you two have been hooking up anyways. What? Never mind, I'm just saying that it would be believable. Look, I don't know. Well, I do know. He took advantage of you because you're so sweet. You don't deserve this. You don't have enough money and he needs payback. I can't do this. Tell them what we rehearsed. Can I help you? Hi, yes, I am here to see my boyfriend, Mr. Blake. I mean, Jason. I, I call him Jason. Okay, well, I'm sorry to inform you he has amnesia. Oh no, well, does that mean he's gonna, like, not know who I am? We'll see, follow me. You, I feel like I know you. Oh, babe, your poor head, it's me, your girlfriend. Girlfriend? Yeah, it's okay if you don't remember my face, baby. I remember your face, but I don't remember liking it. Ow! <laughs> I'm glad to see he hasn't forgotten his sense of humor. You get to come home tomorrow. 
Where is my home? I will show you and the kids will be so excited. Kids! Now, remember, sweetheart, when you see mommy come in with Mr. Blake, you're going to call him... Daddy, but he's just my pretend daddy, but we won't tell him that because it's a surprise. Welcome home, honey. This... this dump is my house? Babe, it's just a little messy, that's all. There's toys everywhere. And what is that smell? Oh, that would be the dirty diapers. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Would you mind just taking out this trash? I really don't remember having any... Daddy! Uh, hi, kid. <laughs> my name's Kitty Silly, and that's Daisy. I'm assuming your mom picked the names. Mommy said that was my other daddy that left us. I mean, just kidding. <laughs> you know, kids, they just say the darnest things. <laughs> Anyways, babe, uh, where's your wallet? Girl, this is crazy. I know, and he gave his doctor's permission to give me all his information. I also got this. His credit card. You can pay off your bills and give him a taste of his own medicine. He's about to learn what hard work really is. Did you get your soulmate sign yet? No, not yet. What's your zodiac sign again? I'm an Aquarius. Maybe your crush Sam is your soulmate. He's a Leo, and they're supposed to be good matches for Aquariuses. Please, just show up. Gemini. A Gemini. So, I guess my soulmate's not Sam. Did you get your crush's sign? No, I got a Gemini. <laughs> my brother's a Gemini. You don't think your brother and I might be... Soulmates? Ew, of course not. Don't even go there. Hey, Kate, what's that on your face? My soulmate's sign. When you meet your soulmate, their sign appears on your face. My soulmate was Sam. <clears throat> um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm so happy for you too. My brother's got detention today. Excuse me, that top is against dress code. Apparently so do I. Tell Luke I said hi. <laughs> no talking. Gotta love detention, huh? Oh, hey Luke. Hey, uh, you got something on your face. Anna, hurry up! What? I'm ready. 